You play to win a ring. And tonight in Los Angeles, the ring is what's at stake. As the Westchester Comets, the defending city section open division champions, host the Birmingham Patriots for the 2021 coveted crown. Hello everybody, my name is Randy Rosenblum, set to call the play-by-play. -play. This is Jeff Tolcher, and this is what it's all about, trying to win the championship. Westchester is the defending champion, and their head coach, Ed Azam, in his 42nd year, is looking to make history tonight. Well, he's looking for his 16th overall city section title. If he's able to get number 16, he'll tie Willie West of Crenshaw for the greatest of all time. When you have a championship game, you have great players. And let's start with Birmingham as we look at our Marine spotlight. We go to David Elliott. He averages 25 a night, and he's a finisher for the Patriots. Well, he's a prolific scorer, doing most of his damage from the perimeter. Also has the ability to take guards off the dribble. He'll have the ball in his hands late tonight, looking to lead them to the championship. We're going to see terrific guard play. T.J. Wainwright, the lefty, is sensational for the Comets. Uh, he led the team in scoring in their big win against King Drew in the semifinals with 18 points. He'll be looking to light it up early and often and looking to lead them to the championship. It's number one against number two for the Open Division Championship in the city section. We'll come back with our wing stop starting five and tip off right after this on KDOC. The Shakey's PCM Combo, starting at just $10.99. You know you need it. Searching for meaning in a relentless world, always connected, but somehow alone, trapped by illusion. We offer another path where the battle to belong begins. Awakened by a calling, united by the cause you fight for. No one can take away you are in this Marine. what it means to be among the few, the proud, the Marines. Okay, so turn left. Hmm. Take this right. Now pull into that parking space. Now put the car in park. Great, thanks so much. It's my lunch break. know you want that smoky, tangy, sweet, and spicy sauced and tossed wing stop where flavor gets its wings. The Shakey's PCM Combo, starting at just $10.99. You know you need it. Back inside the Westchester Gymnasium for the championship game, Birmingham and Westchester. Birmingham with victories over Grant and Fairfax to reach the final. The Comets with wins over El Camino Real and King Drew. It's time for our starting fives and they are delivered to you by Wingstop. Well, the starters for the Patriots feature the talented guard combo of Jaquan Parchment alongside James Nobles, and the head coach of Birmingham in his eighth season is Nicholas Halleck. The starting lineup for Westchester features the outside presence of Zion Sutton and the inside play of Tim Lofton. The man in charge of the comments is longtime head coach Ed Azam, who's in his 42nd season. And Jeff, I know you have your keys to victory in this championship matchup. Well, the keys for Birmingham include winning the battle of the boards. The Patriots must clean the glass well tonight, and they also must score inside against the Westchester team that plays excellent defense. Meanwhile, on the other side of the floor, the keys to winning tonight for Westchester involve containing David Elliott, as the Comets can't let him get off offensively, and they must score inside and avoid taking too many outside jump shots. And tonight's championship game is presented by Wingstop. Wingstop now delivers 
Visit Wingstop.com to get flavor delivered right to your door. The traveling dark uniforms of the Birmingham Patriots, 10 and 3. They went 5 and 0 in the West Valley League. Westchester, the Comets, unblemished, a perfect 11 and 0 record, 7 and 0 of the Western League, including two victories over a very talented Fairfax Lions team. We're going to try that again. Our officiating crew, Kevin Sue, Ernesto Rodriguez, and Eric Gaines. Birmingham and Nobles has the basketball first. Patriots, a very fluid offensive unit. Elliott for three. The second opportunity. And Nobles draws the foul. Offensive rebound is going to be critical in tonight's game. You expect these teams to go back to basketball one-on-one and start boxing out. However, that offensive rebound by Nobles, doing a terrific job grabbing that rebound and couldn't convert, but it'll head to the line. And an early ticket, that foul on Angel Corona, the center of the Comets. One more coming for talented James Nobles, who's headed to Loyola Marymount, as is David Elliott. Seniors want to go out with the championship. This is TJ Wainwright. Transfer out of Santa Monica, played on the Comets Championship team that won last year, and a very talented performer. Zion Sutton's another starter from that championship unit. Sutton will shoot a three. Wainwright got it back, and he got fouled going up. Both teams grabbing offensive rebounds on their first possession. Perfect job of crashing the boards by Wainwright, who's six foot three, going in against some of the bigger players of Birmingham, and he was hacked in the act. TJ had 18 of the semifinal victory over King Drew. Never afraid, plays with great confidence, TJ Wainwright. And with consistency, he's going to get you 15 to 20 on a nightly basis. 2-1 for the Comets. And the coaching here with Nick Halleck and Ed Azam, they both believe this is an even game. It could go either way for all the marbles. Nobles on the drive. Corona rebounds. The outlet to Stewart. He puts it in. John Stewart with a strong move. Well, the key was that outlet pass, getting out quickly in transition. Birmingham slow getting back defensively, and the Comets make them pay. Elliott, who was terrific in their semifinal victory over Fairfax, hit four threes in the fourth quarter to bring them back. Cook fires away. Rebound Elliott. From the baseline, David Elliott has his first Elliott. two of the evening. And keep in mind, he averages 25 per outing. Very difficult to grab defensive rebounds with long caroms. However, Birmingham going to do a a good job of hitting the offensive last year. The Comets, you've got to try to box out and get those long carries. They play through T.J. Wainwright. Looking for that step back jumper. In low to Corona. Good up fake. Didn't convert. And Ola Inca has it for the Patriots. And they want it in number four's hands, David Elliott. Cook, yes. The transfer from Granada Hills, Chris Cook, the 6'6 senior. Birmingham has scored the last five to grab the lead. The Open Division Championship in the L.A. City section. Both teams love to play man-for-man -man defense. Sutton looking to penetrate, and he's shut down by Cook. Now he blows by him. 10 on the shot clock, Wainwright, the reverse is no good, and Nobles has it for the Pats. Parchment for three. From downtown, Jay Kwan Parchment, the 6'3 senior, and that's not unusual. That's in his, in his repertoire. He has that long range ability. It's a great sign for Birmingham. Two triples already converted, and they're off to a great start. Up by five, the champions the Comets trailing. They hammered Fairfax in the title game a year ago. 
68 to 43 they won that game. Wainwright, air ball. Early on, Birmingham playing terrific defense. Parchment for three more. Up over and out. Give the ball back to the Comets of Westchester. Well, the Comets coming up empty on some of these offensive possessions. That's going to be one of the challenges for Westchester's how to get offense going tonight. You know they're a great defensive team, but you have to score on the other end of the floor. Angel Corona is out, replaced by Brandon Clay, a 6'9 senior. Number 52 is a big physical presence inside. Wainwright offline again. Only one shot for the Comets, and here comes Elliott. Wainwright clears for Westchester. Sutton with the pull-up. Crash tip by Clay. It's out of bounds to Birmingham. It's been a dry spell for the Comets. Well, four points halfway through the first quarter is not the way you want to start the city championship game. It goes back to the point I just made about getting some offensive production. That outside shot's not falling for Wainwright. Some of the other Comets have to step up offensively. Mary Grits on an 8-0 run. Nobles with the drive. Beautiful first step, 3.56 left opening quarter, Arcadia C game of the week. The LA City Section Championship. The Patriots on an early run. Goal early for Stewart, but the outside shooting of Birmingham is very, very good on KDO C. The KDO C game of the week is brought to you by Hyundai. See your local Hyundai dealer today, because the longer you look at the new Hyundai, the more there is to like. Got a fever running up and I am bringing the heat. It's your guardian angel. It's your muse. It's your smart dress, tech and tent, safety obsessed superhero. The Hyundai Sonata and Elantra. Hey, it's your journey. Own it. Get 0% APR for 60 months on the Elantra or Sonata, or get up to 2,500 in total savings. Only at your SoCal Hyundai dealer. I'm not telling you. Is he cute? <sighs> You're so annoying. Is it the boy that always talks to you? Maybe. Him? Yeah, I really? know. He's not popular, but I like that. Hold up. When an industry makes nicotine look cool and taste good, they shouldn't get away with it. So minty. <laughs> Excellent start for the visiting Birmingham Patriots in tonight's championship game is brought to you by Shakey's Pizza. When it's time to celebrate, it's time for Shakey's Pizza. Dough made fresh daily. Order now at Shakey's.com. This is the LA City Section Open Division Championship. Metazam has won 15 of these titles, seeking number 16 to tie Willie West, 932 wins. He passed Willie West for being the all-time leader. West has 803, so Metazam with 932 in a league of his own. He's also the third-time winningest coach in the state of California history behind Mike LaDuke of Damien and Gary McKnight of Modern Day. He's been dominant here in the city section. He's chasing two legends in the southern section. Chris Cook with another free throw. He's really fitted nicely into that Birmingham lineup after coming in from Granada Hills. The Highlanders made it into the open division, so Granada Hills had a good year. Wainwright lost it. Archman back the other way. Birmingham on a 9-0 run. Elliott, the left-hand finish. A paralyzing move from David Elliott. Love the combination inside-outside game for the Patriots. They've got two three-pointers. When Elliott takes the ball in the basket, it makes it very difficult to defend. A run of 11 for the Pats. Where will the offense come from for the Comets? Wainwright with the pull-up. You know that T.J. Wainwright will continue to shoot. He has four points, and he will continue to score. I like the adjustment he made, too. A couple possessions down the floor. He tried the perimeter jumpers. Those weren't falling, so he took the ball to the rim and got a better look. 
Elliott. Count it. He's going to the free throw line. He'll be looking for his seventh point of the opening quarter. David Elliott. What's that old adage, Jeff? You can't stop the great ones. He's arguably the best individual scorer in the city section. Indefensible. He takes John Stewart off the dribble. Weak side rotation will help his slow for the Comets, and he gets the charity roll. And I like that he's not settling for three-point jumpers, and he's a very good three-point shooter. Another rebound for T.J. Wainwright. Well, it bodes well when the other Birmingham Patriots are knocking down the triples. You're not forced to launch those three-pointers. Your teammates are contributing. Sutton, low to Clay. Bothered by Ola Inka. And Larry picks up the basketball, and here comes the Patriots. And it's been the Birmingham defense that's been very solid. Cook in the paint. Wainwright pushing the tempo. Wainwright, bothered by Olinka again. Sutton from downtown. Air ball taken by Cook. And now it's Elliott. Two minutes to play opening quarter. Nobles had a clean look. Olinka is blocked beautifully by Stewart. Wainwright, coast to coast, count it. Free throw coming up for T.J. Wainwright, a relentless competitor. He has six. End to end action for Wainwright, who grabbed the loose ball. Actually had the dribble knocked out of his hands. Does a smart thing. He jumps right into Ola Inca to grab the personal foul on his way to the basket. He's going to look at the Patriots sidelines, who are not happy with that last play. It is that. Let's call for a timeout on that Westchester sideline. Both teams with firepower, but when you look at this Birmingham team, it centers around David Elliott, but he's surrounded by Parchment, Nobles, and Cook. And on the perimeter, they can all sink the long ball. They're prolific shooters from the outside, but more importantly for the Patriots, balanced scoring. Four guys already in the books here in the first quarter. So Elliott, even though he averages 25 points a game, doesn't have to carry that heavy burden when he's getting other contributions from the rest of the Birmingham teammates. Both coaches talked about rebounding in this one, and early on, you got to give uh, you know, the credit to Birmingham, although T.J. Wainwright is a guard that's coming back and helping Westchester off the glass. And that rebounding is going to be critical, especially when your team, like the Comets, is struggling from the field. If you're not knocking down your shots, you need those second and third chance opportunities. Wainwright, Wainwright looking to complete the three-point play. These teams played in the Open Division City Championship in 2017, and Birmingham beat Westchester 85-80. There's a game where Deshaun Winston of the Patriots went six for six in the fourth quarter. The last three years, Birmingham's done a great job in the city section playoffs. They've lost in the semifinals the last two seasons. So they're in it pretty much every year, and you can certainly see with the talent on the floor. Yeah, these are two teams that are you going to get deep into the tournament every year. Elliott raising up. Inside, Cook is deflected, got it back again. A fourth opportunity. Compounding the glass was Larry Ola Inca. The Comet's not doing a lot of boxing out, and you can't stand around as you try to grab the ball. Love the effort by Birmingham. They just keep hitting the glass, and eventually you're either going to get a basket or pick up a foul. Stewart has two fouls. Ole Aiken, when we had the Rebay Academy game on, Birmingham lost by one to that outstanding Fighting Frogs team. Ola Inca, this guy at the free throw line, was sensational. Rebounding, blocking shots, and scoring. He averages a double-double. 10 points and 11 rebounds a game. He's also a pretty good rim protector. He had seven blocks in a game earlier this season. Westchester struggling to score in the opening quarter on their home floor. Down six. Sutton gets the screen from Clay. 15 on the shot clock. Down low, it's deflected. They wanted Lofton and a turnover. 
Elliott surveyed. Back the other way, Sutton leaking out. Puts it in, Zion Sutton. Westchester creeping back, they're within four. Quickly out in transition, that's how you get your offense going. You play good defense, get a rebound, and get out and get an easy layup on the other end of the floor. Elliott matched up with Darius McClain, number two in white, a tremendous player off the bench. Elliott scores! Puts the finger up to quiet the crowd. 17-11, Elliott has eight of the 17. It's a great side for Birmingham to get their leading score off to a terrific start. We'll see if he can maintain that over the next three quarters. Final shot time of the opening quarter for Westchester. Corner three. McLean misses, the rebound's tipped, and the quarter's over. Well, the team from Lake Balboa, the Birmingham Patriots, this championship game in the Open Division. An excellent first eight minutes for the visitors. They're up 17-11, our championship game on KDOC. And deep breath. Okay, everybody. Mom needs her rest. Better? Almost there. It's over. Looks great. I've got that. Cedar Sinai. We're right here. The Shakey's PCM Combo, starting at just $10.99. You know all the local stories you missed. All the big stories you need to know. Mark Brown, Michelle Tuzzi, Eyewitness News on KDOC-TV, every night at midnight. Nick Halleck, what a career he has had in his eight seasons. He's built a real powerhouse in the San Fernando Valley. Told me he thinks next year's team is going to be very good. He loses his guards, but his front line, a lot of his players will come back. And every year they're going to get to the semis or a championship game. He's two and two, by the way, head to head against Ed Azam. I like the focus look, too. We had a great close up of him. Eyes really wide, coaching up his team. Intensity really high for tonight's championship game. And the championship game is presented by Wingstop. They are the destination to hit up when you crave cooked order wings with bold layered flavors. Well, for Birmingham, all five players in the books in that first quarter, David Elliott with eight, and Chris Cook with four, including one three-pointer. Meanwhile, for Westchester, seven points from Wainwright, but not a lot much else from the other players. Sutton and Stewart each with two. They need more offensive contributions from some of the other comments. One thing about Westchester teams, they will grind for 32 minutes. They will lean on you. They are a physical team, old school. Lofton tripped up and travels. Lofton was surprised he was that wide open. He expected a defender on his backside, and when he turned around, a little bit of a delayed reaction as he tried to drive to the basket and winds up being a turnover. Cook is free inside, did not finish, got it back, and scores. Oh, a beautiful return shot by Chris Cook. The lead is eight. Wayne Wright inside over the iron. Lofton battling for it. It's out of bounds off of Lofton. Give it to Birmingham. Westchester seems to have a lid on the rim. They're getting a lot of close looks. The ball's just not falling their way. And at some point throughout tonight's game, you would expect that to eventually change. If it doesn't, Birmingham will be the champions. Elliott said, I don't want to be denied. I want to win a championship. That's my goal. He's got his team into the finals. He's been a great scorer this year, number four. David Elliott, in fact, twice this year, he scored over 40 in a game. This is David Elliott. He had 47 in the opener of the playoffs against Grant of Van Ives. Seven on the shot clock. Inside the loose change picked up, and James Nobles with the layup. 
Just the way the Patriots drew it up. That ball went right through two common defenders. Seems like everything's going right for Birmingham here in the first half. 20 to seven is the run. Inside, Lofton got hit on the arm. He'll shoot two. Westchester running their offense through the elbow right at the free throw line to try to open up the defense on the backside. It's a good post pass inside to Lofton, who couldn't get that ball to drop. But I like the interior passing from the Comets. Six-five senior offline with the first charity at 13 points and seven rebounds with a semifinal victory over King Drew. Birmingham in their semi, Jeff. They were down 19 and a half. They were down 15 going to the fourth quarter and rallied to beat the Lions. Elliott hit four threes in the final quarter. Nobles, look it. The triple for James Noble. And the lead is ballooned to 13. Well, the three-point shooting has been prolific here in the first half for Birmingham, and that's a great sign for the Patriots. Wainwright on the baseline. Nobles back the other way. Birmingham stifling defensively. And we know they're gifted offensively. Nobles all the way. Stopped. Denied by Lofton. McLean the other way. Darius McLean is a gifted player off the bench. Very talented. He plays above the rim. Elliott the other way. Yes. Three more for David Elliott. And again, twice over 40. He's capable of huge games. Already in double digits with 11. Lofton to Wainwright. Skip pass to Sutton from downtown. Birmingham back the other way. Nobles playing downhill. Got it back. Rebound Brandon Clay of Westchester. McLean in the open court goes all the way. Westchester not finishing shots. They're not completing their plays when they get to the cup. And that's a major problem against an offensive minded team like Birmingham. They're getting good looks. They're getting into the paint, putting up good shots. The iron has not been kind of kind to them here in the first half. Birmingham is a school that currently is holding open division titles in football, baseball, soccer, wrestling, and cheer in the city section. And they might add basketball to that list. Nobles offline. McLean the other way, and he's given the offense some life. All the way. Darius the reverse layup, and he draws the foul. You gotta like Darius McLean. He plays with a swagger. I like the aggressiveness. One of the things the Comets have been lacking in the first half is other than Wainwright taking the ball to the basket, their offense appears stagnant on the perimeter. Birmingham calls the timeout. Over the shoulder, you don't see that too often. A 180 spin move. So he takes the ball into a couple of Patriots. Like the aggressiveness, you know that ball did not find the bottom of the basket. Well, Westchester has been stymied offensively. They have four minutes and 50 seconds left of the half. They only have 13 points on the board. And this is something you and I were talking about during the timeout. We mentioned multiple times, where's the offense going to come from from Westchester? But they're a grind-type team. They're going to chip away and chip away. And I think their offense can actually help their defense if they can start putting some points on the board. Gives you that momentum and that energetic lift that you need. And it's the sluggish part of the game for the Comets, but this game is far from over. Oh, yeah. Don't go wandering off. And Westchester is the championship team. They're a very proud squad. They have McLean stationed at the charity stripe. They're fully capable of coming all the way back. But this is a tremendous challenge. This is a very good Birmingham squad and a friendly bounce for McLean. Well, you don't go 11-0 without showing some or facing some adversity. Westchester facing adversity here in the championship game. I believe Darius McLean's going to probably have to stay on the floor for Westchester. He's got four quick points, and it just gives them a presence offensively that they need. But they got to slow down this guy, David Elliott. That's not easy to do. This time it's taken away by Angel Corona, and Corona scores. The big fella showing some ball skills and a finish. 
Lee chopped to 10. Well, the quick hands from Corona, the biggest man on the floor. You don't expect your center to come up with that type of play on the double team. That was a terrific defensive sequence for the Comets. Elliott for three. Bingo! David Elliott. The long ball's working for Elliott. He has 14. Two three-pointers in this second quarter. That's a great sign for Birmingham. Wainwright in the paint. Got it. TJ Wainwright. Well, the players we spotlighted, the Marines spotlight, Elliott and Wainwright exchange goals. Wainwright has nine of the 19 Comet points. Elliott, a little bit too strong with that one. But a second opportunity for the Patriots. Nobles double teamed and Wainwright picked his pocket. Wainwright's got an unbelievable motor. Stewart, not close. Out of bounds. It belongs to the Patriots. 3.28 left opening half. Birmingham has held the advantage throughout this championship. Still a long way to go, but Ed is Am's team. They got to get going here. They can't stop David Elliott in our championship game on KDOC. Searching for meaning in a relentless world, always connected, but somehow alone, trapped by illusion. We offer another path where the battle to belong begins. Awakened by a calling, united by the cause you fight for, no one can take away what it means to be among the few, the proud, the Marine. Birmingham had a 27-13 advantage. You can see it's 30-19 currently in this championship game. It's presented by Hyundai. When you test drive a new Hyundai, you'll find that not only does Hyundai have your back, Hyundai is also looking out for your pocketbook. See your local dealer today and discover why the longer you look at a new Hyundai, the more there is to like. Well, that is Am. Got to be a little bit concerned here, especially with the shot-making ability of the Patriots. I do like the substitution. Darius McLean coming off the bench to give the Comets a lift, especially on the offensive end of the floor. But if you're Westchester, you got to go back to what got you here, and that's that stifling defense, especially on the perimeter. Elliott and Parchment. Sutton, a lockdown defender working against Elliott. Nobles with the step back three. Three more for James Nobles. So the future Loyola Marymount Lions, Elliott and Nobles having a very productive opening half combining for 23 points. And a good majority of those coming on the three ball. Birmingham's knocking down those long three pointers. They're almost unbeatable. Stewart and a steal by Nobles. And he slams it down, and he's fouled. James Noble. Well, the Birmingham fans who made the trek over here are certainly excited. Knocked down a three-pointer, come up with a steal, and then the thunderous throwdown on the other end of the floor. And that is a momentum-building dunk, and there's a great look at James Nobles with the play of the game. A crowbar dunk by Nobles. Oh, that was tantalizing. Looking for his 12th point of the championship game. The lead is 16, the greatest margin of the night for the visitors from Lake Balboa. Wainwright all the way, puts it in. T.J. Wainwright forcing it. He played a little bully ball, and he has 11 of the Comets 21. 
Uh, one of your leading scorers is going to have to start taking over this game offensively. He's got half their points, and I like the aggressive move to the basket. Elliott and Noble. From 30 feet. Three more for James Noble. Rokian Elliott with 14. What a shooting display by Birmingham. Oh, and a layup underneath, an easy one for Tim Lofton, and a nice dime from Zion Sutton. Well, if you're Birmingham, you can't play any better than this. Well, it's been going their way, but the only question is, can they sustain that? At some point, basketball being a game of runs, you'll have loss. That's lost out of bounds. It belongs to the white-clad Comets. Keep in mind, Birmingham looked like they were dead in the water against Fairfax in the semifinals. 19 down at half, 15 down going into the fourth quarter. Outscored the Lions, the number three seed, by 19 points in Rowley to win. And they have a lot of momentum coming in here. Sutton searching. Inside again, another beautiful pass to Stewart. In a perfect world, the Comets would like to get it inside of 10 before intermission. There's been a couple of breakdowns along the baseline for Birmingham. That's a second backdoor pass for two points that's happened, so let's see if they continue to exploit that weakness. Here's Elliott. Out of bounds. Officials look at one another and they say, we'll give Birmingham another opportunity. Good hustle on the far side by Ola Inca. You've got your big man going out, chasing down a loose ball. And those plays don't show up in the stat sheet, but they add an extra possession. And they certainly could add to the scoreboard. Cook for three. Deflected out of bounds. Goes to Westchester. On our Hyundai Halftime Show, we'll visit with Vicky Lagos in her second year as the L.A. City Commissioner. Jeff will chat with her. Looking forward to that visit. Wainwright into the front court inside of a half a minute to play. Westchester certainly could use a bucket. Parchment. Defensively taking up the challenge. Wainwright trying to beat him off the dribble. Lofton with a strong play inside. You have to like the effort of number 34, Tim Lofton. Lofton last year was a spark plug off the bench this year in that starting five for the Comets. And one of his strengths is a strong inside player. That's what's been missing in the first half for Westchester. I like the fact that they're attacking the basket a lot more than they did in the earlier part of the game. Isaiah Tahafe, a 6'4 junior, southpaw for Birmingham. Speaking of southpaws, there are four left-handed shooters on this Westchester Comet team. Four of them rescued in the side beautifully by Birmingham, but they lost the handle. Sutton for three at the buzzer. We're at the break. The Birmingham Patriots trying to be road warriors tonight and claim the city section open division championship. They have been brilliant from downtown. James Nobles has been great. Wainwright has countered on the other side for the Comets, but it's been the outside shooting of Birmingham. That's where they lead by double digits at halftime on our KDOC championship game night. Stay with us. The KDOC Game of the Week is brought to you by Wingstop. Go boneless at Wingstop with any of their 11 flavors. Go to wingstop.com for delivery now. Okay, so turn left. Hmm. Take this right. Now pull into that parking space. Now put the car in park. Great, thanks so much. It's my lunch break. know you want that smoky, tangy, sweet, and spicy sauced and tossed Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings.
It's your guardian angel. It's your muse. It's your smart dress, tech and tent, safety obsessed superhero, the Hyundai Sonata and Elantra. Hey, it's your journey. Own it. Get 0% APR for 60 months on the Elantra or Sonata, or get up to 2,500 in total savings. Only at your SoCal Hyundai dealer. Listen, what is going on? With you? No, get out now! I want to talk to you. Listen, get out, okay? Get out! Listen to me! Get out of my room! Nicotine's a neurotoxin that can escalate teen mood swings. And welcome to our Hyundai Halftime Show, where Birmingham, who hit six threes of the first half, leads 38-26. At the break, we have an opportunity to visit with the commissioner of the L.A. City section, Vicky Lagos. So let's go over to Jeff for that conversation. Thanks, Randy. It's been a challenging year for all of us with the advent of COVID. What's it been like for you and your support staff just to get all these games played? Thank you for having us, first of all. Thank you, Jeff and KDOC, for uh, covering our student athletes. It's a great opportunity for them. Um, this year has been a challenge. It's been a challenge for all of our families, all of our schools, and uh, it's been a lot of planning and a lot of tearing up plans and starting over. Um, but we are happy to give a touch of normalcy back to our student athletes. And the first football game that I sat at this year, I, I honestly almost cried because it was so exciting to see the kids be able to get back out and do the things that they love. Um, I really want to thank our athletic directors, our administrators, and our coaches. Without them, none of this would have happened. And they've worked tirelessly this entire year. And our staff in our office, uh, Dick Dornan, Alexa Berg, uh, and Kim Boardingham, for all everything that they've done. We've covered a lot of championships and a lot of events. It's been an exciting time, but uh, tiring for everybody. And, and I know everyone's looking for a nice summer break. How are you guys able to get all these sports done in such a short window? Because you actually started later than the southern section. How challenging was that? Uh, it was challenging, but our schools have been resilient. They've shown such great flexibility. And again, our administrators, our athletic directors and coaches, they've gone above what we could ever have asked for them to do. So um, really, the, the credit goes all to them. And, and to the parents, too. They trusted them to let their student athletes participate. So, um, you know, we have to spread the credit around. We appreciate you stopping by. Thank you. Thank you so much. Randy? Charming lady, Vicky Lagos, at the break, 38-26, Birmingham, despite this great play by Angel Corona, the big fella, they're down a dozen, championship action, Birmingham just too good from downtown. Back in a moment on KDOC. The KDOC Game of the Week is brought to you by Shakey's Pizza Parlor. Dough made fresh daily. Order now at Shakey's.com. The Shakey's PCM Combo, starting at just $10.99. You know you need it. When I had my car accident, I didn't know what to do. I was injured, my car was in the shop, I couldn't go to work. I called multiple attorneys, but when I called and asked for Jacob, he was the only one who spoke to me immediately. Hi Kathy, this is Jacob Amrani, how are you? Jacob isn't just a guy on a billboard, he's a real person a real attorney, and that's why now he's my attorney. Accident or injury, call Jacob and Ronnie, call Jacob. Okay, so turn left. Hmm. Take this right. Now pull into that parking space. Now put the car in park. Great, thanks so much. It's my lunch break. know you want that smoky, tangy, sweet, and spicy sauced and tossed Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. Searching for meaning in a relentless world, always connected, but somehow alone, trapped by illusion. We offer another path, where the battle to belong begins. Awakened by a calling, 
United by the cause you fight for. No one can take away You're in this Marine. what it means to be among the few, the proud, the Marines. Academy Award nominee Kate Blanchett, Giovanni Ribisi, Keanu Reeves, Katie Holmes, with Academy Award nominee Greg Kinnear, and Academy Award winner Hilary Swank. I think somebody's going to try and kill me. The Gift. Tomorrow at 8 on KDOC TV's Weekend Theater. The Shakey's PCM Combo, starting at just $10.99. That beauty is reflected in the stats. Well, it's been a pretty dominating performance in the first half for Birmingham. James Nobles and David Elliott both leading the way. They have 14 of their each, 28 of their 38 points coming off those two gentlemen's hands. And Chris Cook also chipping in with six points. For Westchester, T.J. Wainwright's kept them in the ball game with his first half 11 points. But the question for the comments, where's the other points going to come from? And Blaine and Stewart each tossed in four to lead the way, but they need somebody else to step up. And again, Darius McLean came off the bench. A little bit of a spark there. Perhaps he will turn it on for the Comets in the second half. That's our Hyundai halftime show. And when we come back to the Westchester Gymnasium here in Los Angeles, we'll see if the Comets can rally and win their 16th title. Or will Birmingham win their second open division crown over Westchester? The third quarter is next. The championship for the LA City Section Open Division on KDOC. The KDOC Game of the Week is brought to you by Jacob and Ronnie. Injured in an accident? For a free consultation, call Jacob or visit calljacob.com. After my motorcycle accident, I had no form of transportation. I couldn't work, and to make matters worse, all the attorneys I called bounced me around from person to person. Jacob was the only one who got on the phone with me when I asked for him. I was told you were just involved in an accident. Can you tell me exactly what happened? He's a real person, a real attorney, and that's why now, He's my attorney. Accident or injury, call Jacob and Ronnie, call Jacob. There's nothing like riding a bike during the summer here in Southern California. The Electric Bike Company wants you to experience all of the freedom, benefits, and fun of riding a bike with their electric bikes. And in that spirit, we're giving away an electric bike to a lucky viewer. Go to kdoc.tv and click Summer of Fun to enter. It's your guardian angel. It's your muse. It's your smart dress, tech and tent, safety obsessed superhero. The Hyundai Sonata and Elantra. Hey, it's your journey. Own it. Get 0% APR for 60 months on the Elantra or Sonata or get up to 2,500 in total savings. Only at your SoCal Hyundai dealer. And deep breath. Okay, everybody, mom needs her rest. Better? Almost there. It's over. Looks great. I've got that. Cedar sinai we're right here. What adjustments will Ed Azam have for Westchester in the second half? We're down a dozen in this championship game. And this title tilt is presented by Wingstop. Order your flavor today online at wingstop.com or on our Wingstop app. Jeff Coulter, what do you expect to see from Westchester? One of the adjustments I like they made in the second quarter was getting closer to the rim. They were running a lot of baseline action. It got them some easy baskets. They start running that offense baseline to baseline and try to create those openings. Meanwhile, defensively, they're going to have to start to slow down both Nobles and Elliott, although you got two 
Loyola Marymount commits who've been lighting it up here in the first half. I think the pressure falls on Zion Sutton defensively, one of the other guards for the Comets. They've got to get right up in the grill of Elliott and Nobles. Well, the original starting five out there for Westchester, Zion Sutton, T.J. Wayland, John Stewart, Tim Loft, and Angel Corona. And the same can be said. The starters for the Patriots, Jaquan Parchman, James Nobles, David Elliott, Chris Cook, and Larry Ola Inca. Patriot basketball as we begin the third quarter. Third quarter. Closing in on a championship in the open division. And we're looking at a 2-3 zone and Elliott shoots over it. The battle inside. Corona kept it alive, it went off of Ola Inca, so Westchester will retain. Well, a mild surprise for the Comets starting in a zone. They normally play man-to-man -man the entire game. Another missed shot and Lofton rebounds. Don't go wandering off. This is a talented Westchester team. A lot of pride here. Wainwright, Lofton on the baseline. Sutton will set it up with 20 on the shot clock, on that timer. Scoring has been an issue in this game for the Comets. Corona cleaning up the loft and miss. Missed the layup. Loft and trying to tip it back in. It's off of Elliott. Another opportunity for Westchester. It's got to be frustrating for the Comets who had two really good looks. You got a jumper inside the paint that doesn't fall. And you got Angel Corona with an easy putback that caroms off the rim. Some of those shots eventually will start dropping. They bring it into Angel Corona. Around Olinka, and a whistle sounds. Corona draws the foul on Larry Olinka. Corona's going to be a very good player. He's lost 30 pounds. He looks terrific. He's only a sophomore. He didn't get a lot of time to practice and hone his skills with the COVID situation. What a year under his belt. This guy at the free throw line is going to be very good. And one of the areas he's going to get better at is his work around the basket. He's had some point blank looks down low. and. As a sophomore, you go through that growth spurt. Freshman and sophomore, you have to learn to score around the basket. And he'll get better in that department. Yeah, Westchester believes he's going to be one of the top big men in the city next year. And now they're thinking about the current situation. Cook with the turnaround jumper right in the middle of the zone, and that's the, the easiest access into a zone. You can get open looks from that free throw line area. Cook. On defense, and Elliott both trying to get steals. It's deflected away, picked up. Here comes Elliott. And a slam dunk for David Elliott, who has 16 after the throwdown. Well, your defense has to help your offense, and that was certainly the case there for the Patriots. Get that quick run out and a slam at the other end. Wade right with a gorgeous move on the baseline. Comes right back to him. Draws the foul, got the basket. T.J. Wainwright. In the end, we talk about work ethic and how relentless number five is. Great job of not quitting on the play. Quite a few Patriots in the vicinity. He jumps right into Ola Inka, who just picked up his fourth person. So we'll see if the Patriot big man comes out of the game or stays on the floor. That'll bring in Isaiah Tahafi for Ola Inca. And Tahafi's been a good player the last couple of years for Birmingham. So he is the replacement for Larry Ola Inca. But you lose five inches there. Tahafi 6'4, Ola Inca 6'9, and protects the rim. Elliott raising up two more for David Elliott. He's smooth, isn't he? He can score from anywhere on the floor. High volume score, knock it down three balls, pull up jumpers, take it defenders off the dribble. Certainly see why he averages 25 again. Wainwright all the way, and again he's fouled going up. Two more foul shots for TJ Wainwright. Well, Wainwright's keeping his club in the ball game. He's got 14 of their 30 points, but I like the aggressiveness. Not settling for the jump shot, jump into the defenders. Draw the contact and head to that 15-foot line, trying to add to his point totals. Tahafi picks up his first personal foul. Yeah. 
senior player T.J. Wainwright. Leading scorer for the Comets this year. And again tonight. For T.J. Wainwright, he has 16. Lead is a dozen. More importantly, he's five out of six from the free throw line, so the leading scorer adding to his point totals from that 15-foot marker. Elliott misses and a strong rebound for Angel Corona. Beautiful box out. Forget the basket, but there's a foul before Lofton put it in. Wayne right again was impeded, and T.J. Wainwright is going to the this, this tempo favors Westchester. You want that slow half-court game, and Wainwright's starting to take over here in the third quarter. He knows in the back of his mind when he's not getting the contributions offensively from some of the other Comets that he has to take over this game, and he's doing a terrific job in that category. T.J. Wainwright. Dead eye at the line, six of seven. He's adding to that point total. And he plays with such great energy. He's going to need some assistance. It's going to be tough to shoulder the burden and overcome Birmingham, who's so gifted as an offensive team. Another whistle. This one against Westchester. Angel Corona picked up his second personal foul. Corona and Tahafi getting tangled up. Back to Hoffi had to be pulled away by one of his Patriot teammates. So we'll keep an eye on that battle in the post as the players start to get physical. Wainwright on the sideline, chatting with the venerable head coach, Edison. 42 years for the set. Tahafi from deep. Rebound, Elliott. Elliott lost it out of bounds. Good defensive effort using his body to fend off Elliott by John Stewart. Elliott was fortunate. He didn't get called for an offensive foul. That first attempt got the old chicken wing out. The officials let play continue, so I guess the ball doesn't lie as he winds up turning the ball over anyway. Stewart on the wing. Darius McLean, again, a very capable scorer off the bench. Zion sucks. Where are the points going to come from with Wayne right on the bench? Lofton inside, rejected beautifully by Tahafi. Here comes Noble. Elliott drives and draws the foul. Two free throws for David Elliott. Getting out quickly in transition, going up with his offhand was Nobles. A little frustrated was John Stewart. He thought he had a clean play. Stewart has three personal fouls. Elliott back at the stripe. Looks like David is having fun. He is smiling. Coming down the court and enjoying this championship game. And it was critical for him to get off to a good start. He had eight points in the first quarter, six in the second for this 14 at the half. He's also got four points here in the third quarter. But I like what Westchester's doing. They're slowing down the tempo. This is still an 11-point game. So in spite of the fact they're not putting a lot of points on the board, they're still within reach. Wayne Wright comes back in. Lead is a dozen again. David Elliott with 19, and he averages 25 per outing. Westchester is trying to creep back into the game. Brandon Clay with a good look inside. Oh, the half-court game, an easy one, a bunny inside for Tim Lofton. Draw the double team, somebody's open, and Lofton with the easy deuce. Elliott back the other way, the two ball. And again, he seems to have that ability to knock down shots whenever they need him. Sutton lobbing, didn't get it. Wanted T.J. Wainwright. Elliott pulling up, yes. David Elliott. David Elliott. Great to have a championship game when you're on, and Elliott has 23. Comet so far can't stop him. Well, it's been the Elliott and Wainwright show. Both of those two players put their teams on their back. McLean for three, up over and out. 3.52 remains in the third quarter. We will step out. Well, this has been beautiful. David Elliott and James Nobles, our Jacob and Ronnie, assisted the game. Hard earned assist through traffic and an easy deuce for Nobles. It's all Birmingham on the title tilt.
on KDOC. Thank you, Jacob and Ronnie. The KDOC Game of the Week is brought to you by Wingstop. Go to wingstop.com to have that crave-crushing Wingstop flavor delivered right to your door. Okay, so turn left. Hmm. Take this right. Now pull into that parking space. Now put the car in park. Great, thanks so much. It's my lunch break. You know you want that smoky, tangy, sweet, and spicy sauced and tossed wing stop where flavor gets its wings. The Shakey's PCM Combo, starting at just ten ninety nine. You know you need it. You get this picture of a jealous guy. What possessed you to do that? Could this be a murder for hire? When you got something that was this bad, somebody's got to pay. Dateline. Weeknights at eight and nine on KDOC TV, Los Angeles. Lonely up at the top, isn't it? That's Connor Morissette who helped us, uh, did some games for us. We want to thank Connor. He's our analyst for a number of our KDOC Game of the Weeks. And tonight's championship game is being presented by Jacob and Ronnie. For a free consultation, call Jacob at 866-811-1881 or visit calljacob.com. Jacob is a proud supporter of high school sports, city section championship sports on KDOC. Ed Azam, no stranger to championships. He has those 932 wins, and the question is, is he gonna continue to coach? That is a big question. Personally, I think this will be his final season. He will make the decision later. The door is always open, it goes year to year, but I think this is it. But he would like to get that 16th city title, but he hasn't been able to slow down Birmingham. That one is stuck. It's technically a tie up, technically a jump ball, but the alternating possession gives it to the Comets. And one of the adjustments Westchester is making is double teaming David Elliott. That's something you certainly want to do, and it forces the other Patriots to knock down shots. So that ball wedging itself between the rim and the backboard. Birmingham coming up empty on that possession. Comets trying to trim into that lead. Lofton, who's energized the offense a little bit here in the third quarter to Brandon Clay. Kick it back to Wainwright and Sutton. They'd like to get Zion Sutton going. Pass comes right back after being deflected to Lofton, and there's Wainwright in the right spot in the painted area to score. TJ has 19. 19 to the 37 for Wainwright. He and Elliott with a wonderful duel on championship Saturday. Elliott. That one's not there for him, and here comes Wainwright blowing out of the backcourt. End to end. Score it. TJ Wainwright shot out of a cannon. 49 39. The lead is reduced to 10. He's got 21 points, and 10 of those coming in the third quarter. He is trying to will the Comets to the championship. Nobles with a nice step. The putback is no good. A couple opportunities. Noble's battling for it, and Sutton beat him to the ball. To Wainwright. TJ, the jump stop. The layup, no good. Birmingham did a nice job getting back defensively against Wainwright. Nobles from the side. He hits. James Nobles. His first basket of the second half and 16 points with a Loyola Merrimont commit. Westchester timeout with a buck 48 to play in the third. Birmingham holding off Westchester for the moment. And that's the question, can they continue to play like this? But I like the tempo for the Comets, by the fact they're trailing. They want to slow the tempo down, get into a half-court game, and start to rely on their defense that needs to come up with some stops at the other end of the floor. Well, right now, I think the big question for Westchester, how do you slow down David Elliott? And the other question is offensively, who's going to help T.J. Wainwright? Well, there's two great questions. If they can't answer those, they're not going to win the championship tonight. But I think I noticed on a couple of other possessions that the Cobb started double-teaming Elliott. And you can do that because it forces him to get rid of the ball. You need somebody else to beat you. Then again, when you got James Nobles, who's having a great game, he's their second scoring option. Difficult to scheme against two outstanding athletic 
high volume scores on the perimeter for the Patriots. Justice Harper, a 6'5 junior, wears number 13, another transfer from Santa Monica into the game for Birmingham. He's playing principally because Larry Olainka has four personal fouls, and they like Justice. They think he's a very good player, and there's a great block by Nobles. James Nobles doing it both ends of the building. Corner three. And Wainwright, who's done a nice job off the glass. McLean attacking. Nearly an and one. I like the energy that McLean has given Westchester coming off the bench. She had four points in the first half. Contributing, takes this one right to the rack and down the head to the line. Looking to cut into this Patriot lead. Darius is another guy that's capable of taking over games and scoring in cluster. But so far, every time Westchester has started to get a little bit closer, Birmingham has had an answer. And this guy, James Nobles, has been terrific tonight. Another one out of the corner. Another three ball. This one from Parchment. Jay Quan Parchment. That's Birmingham bench loves it. Nick Halleck's team playing inspired ball on the road. Westchester the number one seed. Birmingham the number two seed. We're playing here because Westchester is the top seed. That's why they have home court advantage as Clay went up strong and drew the foul. Clay a terrific position in the post. You box your defensive player in. In deep, a little head and shoulder fake, draw the contact. I will say this about Birmingham, they're not allowing a lot of layups inside the paint. Westchester's been unfortunate. A lot of those close shots have just not been falling tonight. Brandon Clay, one of those four southpaws. They love him when he plays hard. He can be very physical and strong around the goal. But he missed both foul shots. And you can't leave points off the board. You need to knock those down when you're back by 14 in a championship game. Especially with Elliott going back the other way. Searching for his shot. No travel and a gorgeous finish by Justice Harper. But right down Main Street, the lead is 16. A long climb back. Sutton with the good look. Lofton has two and he's going to the line. What a setup by Zion Sutton. Interior passing. This is what, what's been missing tonight for the Comets. Be able to finish at the rim. Lofton with four points in this third quarter. He had three at the intermission. So for the Comets, you need your players to start contributing and Lofton doing it on that possession. They needed that three-point play. Final half minute of the quarter. The shot clock is put to bed. Birmingham can take it all the way down here in the third stanza. Another strong move by Justice Harper. Now he has the ability to face up and go hard in the basket. He gives him a little bit more of an offensive presence on the perimeter over Ola Inca. And they're going to build their team around this young man at the line, Justice Harper. He's going to be a major contributor up front next year for Nick Hallett. It's a pretty athletic move, too, once he caught the ball in the paint. Taking on a bigger, slower defender. You beat him with your quickness. 57-43, final seconds of the third. Wainwright. That won't get there. From backcourt. Elliott has great range, but that's even too far for David. After three, the Patriots, the 2017 Open Division champions, looking smooth. And they have our Shakey's Pizza Mojo play of the game. Nobles with the tomahawk dunk. An accent point. Punctuation mark for Nobles and the Patriots.
KDOC Game of the Week is brought to you by Jacob Emrani. Injured in an accident? For a free consultation, call Jacob or visit calljacob.com. My son was badly injured in a car accident. As a parent, you want what's best for your child. So I called Jacob. Jacob treated my son like family. I was just calling to see how your surgery went this morning. Jacob isn't just a guy on TV. He's a real person, a real attorney. And that's why he's now my attorney. Accident or injury, call Jacob and Ronnie. Call Jacob. Got a fever running up and I am bringing the heat. It's your guardian angel. It's your muse. It's your smart dress, tech and tent, safety obsessed superhero, the Hyundai Sonata and Elantra. Hey, it's your journey. Own it. Get 0% APR for 60 months on the Elantra or Sonata, or get up to 2,500 in total savings. Only at George SoCal Hyundai dealer. Big lead for Birmingham, but they have to survive eight more minutes to try to win the championship. Tonight's championship game is presented by Wingstop Lunch, Dinner, or Late Night. Visit wingstop.com for piping hot, boneless wings. We want to thank our David Otta crew. They've been with us all year on graphics. Nima Tabarani, Tanner Schofield, our director and TD. Producer, of course, is David Otta. Replay, Taylor Gillum. Cameras, James Tonini, Paul Abazade, William Clark, Scott Raish, and Sergio Sanchez. A great job by our crew all season long. We've done 20 games on KDOC. We're very proud of the guys. We're proud of their presentation all season long. Birmingham liking what they're seeing here. Elliott looking to finish it off. Challenged Wainwright and drew the foul. Number five, TJ Wainwright, his first four. TJ's first for Westchester. They're not in foul trouble as of yet. So that bodes well for them. With Nobles and Elliott out there, that's a tough team to slow down. Parchment is very good as well. Still 25 on the shot clock, and it comes to Elliott. Working against McLean. And he's fouled. Clay got the block. But on the double team, as they try to come over and slow down Elliott, McLean fouled him. One of the things that Westchester's doing tonight is rotating their players defensively to try to slow down Elliott, but it really hasn't worked. Looking for points 24 and 25 at the line. Well, David Elliott, we saw him last year against Sierra Canyon and put on a fabulous shooting display. Brought his team back from a double digit deficit then Sierra Canyon pulled away again. And Elliott's been good here tonight although he leaves two there by not making those foul shots. Westchester needs to get going offensively. Down 14. McLean attacking and scoring. Oh a blow by and a basket for Darius McLean. Seven points for McLean off the bench. It's all about defense. Comets need stops. Elliott probing. Didn't finish. Stewart back the other way for the white clad Comets. Can the champs rally? We know they can. Will they rally back? McLean just had a nice score. Six and a half minutes to play. Sutton for three. Off the iron and Tahafi rebound. That's been one of the storylines tonight. Sutton, who averages 12 points a game, only has two points. He's a terrific defender, but his offense has been missing. Tahafi thought about the triple, says, no, I'll give it to Elliott. Elliott takes control. A confident Birmingham team. In his first year in the program, the transfer from Granada Hills. Chris Cook, beauty in the lane. Again, so many weapons for Nick Halleck's team. Wainwright all the way, got loose, missed it. He was right there, too. We have a tie-up. Wainwright can't believe that one didn't fall for him. 
And that's been the story of the night. Westchester's got a lot of shots in the paint. The ball's just not been falling. Wainwright gets a good look with the left hand. And it goes over the side of the rim. It's a good job of recovering, too, because Wainwright forced that jump ball. Birmingham brings back Larry Ola Inka with the four fouls. Inbounded to Lofton, who's inside and scores. That was pretty. Well, this Birmingham double-digit lead, Jeff, is holding here. They're countering every move, countering every move by Westchester. And I don't like what they're doing in this situation. Their offense has gotten stagnant. They're working the clock. And you still got plenty of time. You got to go back into attack mode. Well, what do you think? Why not? Fire up a three. Chris Cook. From way downtown. Well, it's been outstanding three-point shooting tonight for the Patriots. Wayne Wright all the way, missed again, chases it down. And Corona, the big fella, drops in a 10-footer. But there's only five minutes to play. Comets need a furious rush. They're going to start to need to gamble on the perimeter, too. He's switching the double team, go for the steal. Elliott's pass gets to Cook. Cook walk. There's Eric Gaines, one of our officials. He was a great star at Dorsey High School many years ago. Went on to perform at Pepperdine. Nick Halleck's team is four minutes and 39 seconds away from Second Open Division Championship since 2017. And he has to feel confident with the way his team has played tonight. They get in a little bit of a lull offensively. They knock down a three. Their three-point shooting tonight has been terrific. Yeah, they came out blazing. They got off to a good start. Elliott and Nobles have shouldered most of the load. Westchester has just not been able to get inside of double digits. And then a Zam. Trying to map out some strategy, and it is the end of the line for Ed Azam. 42 phenomenal years, 932 victories. They're going to play in the regionals. Both these teams will qualify for regional play. But if Azam retires, and we don't know that he will, but I have that sense that he might, what a career he has had. Uh, one of the greatest coaches in city section history, chasing the legendary Willie West of Crenshaw. He's won championship behind Crenshaw, but his team's going to have to rally tonight if he's to actually tie Willie West. A great teacher of the game. That is Am will tell you, I'm a teacher first. 62 to 49, Wainwright tried to get it to Corona. Deflected outside. It's picked up by Sutton. And the whistle sounds, a stoppage of play, and another foul against Chris Cook of Birmingham. Well, the Patriots are over the limit. That's their eighth team foul, so every foul from here on out will send Westchester to the line. Normally that's a good situation, but the Comets tonight, they've missed nine free throws as a team in a 13-point game. Those 15-foot gimmies can certainly add up. And again, they missed, but Lofton, they didn't box him off the glass. He beat Cook to the ball and put it back in. Lofton's played well in the second half, and he has a dozen for the Comets. But can Westchester get enough stops at this end of the building? A deflection, and it's Lofton taking it from Elliott. And Elliott fouled him. Now Westchester waking up, and it starts with defense. It's a terrific finish on that previous play by Lofton, and then it comes up with a terrific steal. Quick hands on the perimeter, and he jumps right into David Elliott. Picks up his first personal. Keep in mind, every time the Patriots foul, the Comets will head to the free throw line, so this could be the way they get back in the game. And Tim Lofton has given their Comet faithful here a spark. They still have just over four minutes to play. Not out of this game. Earns the bonus. It's a 10-point contest. The momentum of this game has shifted. And I think part of the reason was Birmingham on the offensive end of the floor, they went into stall mode. They we're not attacking, moving the ball on the perimeter. So in spite of that three-pointer by Chris Cook, it's been somewhat of a dry spell here in the early stages of the fourth. And a tie-up inside it belongs to Birmingham on the alternating position. 
And we want to thank our sponsors all season long, Jacob and Ronnie, Wingstop, Hyundai. City section championship. Been great sponsorships all season long on KDOC. Hope to see you next year, which is right around the corner. It's really not next year, it's this year. June championships, unusual. A lamp is missed. Ola Inca couldn't finish around the goal. It's out of bounds to Westchester. They still have life. 3.44 left in this open division LA City Section Championship. Birmingham is closing in on a title. But Darius McLean and company want a rally. Can they slow down the Pats down the stretch on KDOC? And deep breath. Okay, everybody. Mom needs her rest. Better? Almost there. It's over. Looks great. I've got you. Cedar Sinai. We're right here. Searching for meaning in a relentless world, always connected, but somehow alone, trapped by illusion. We offer another path where the battle to belong begins. Awakened by a calling, united by the cause you fight for, no one can take away what it means to be among the few, the proud, the marine. Lead is 10 for Birmingham. 3.44 remains. Birmingham closing in on the Open Division Boys Basketball Championship. And one of the ways they're going to be able to close out tonight's game is to be a little bit more aggressive on the offensive end of the floor. You look at David Elliott, who has 23 points tonight, but he's scoreless here in the fourth. So your leading scorer, he can put the ball in his hands and see if he can carry that to the championship. It's rare that teams can go through Fairfax and Westchester in the playoffs, and that's what Birmingham is on the brink of doing. Remember, they came back and beat a terrific Reggie Morris Jr. basketball team. Reggie Morris does a tremendous job with the Lions. They rallied to win that one, and here Birmingham is led from start to finish. But the Comets are still alive with three and a half minutes left. Wainwright for three. That won't get there. The tip over the iron, and it's rebounded by the Patriots. And here comes Elliott. All the way, missed it, rebound, Nobles. James Nobles has been brilliant tonight for Birmingham. That was a big time follow. The Collins getting back slow on that end of the floor. Wainwright getting that screen from Angel Corona, used it beautifully. 23 for the two stars, Wainwright of Westchester and Elliott of Birmingham. Inside of three minutes to play. The championship on the line. They double team Elliott. Three ball corner pocket. Parchman didn't get it. They rebound inside. A lot of contact, no foul. Here come the Comets. Wainwright all the way, all the way for two. It's an eight point game with two and a half to play. And TJ Wainwright, no give up in him. And a lot of credit to the comments on the defensive end of the floor. Grabbing those rebounds and stopping Birmingham from scoring was the key to that transition basket. That's what the comments do. They clamp down defensively. Elliott is fouled and he's going to the line, splitting the double team. Well, the Patriots are running that screen right at Angel Corono. This time was dribble penetration by Elliott. Jump right into the chest of John Stewart who winds up picking up his fourth person. 
Elliott finally scores in the fourth quarter. 24 on the night, a candidate for our wing stop player of the game. That is and still encouraging T.J. Wainwright. And the question for Westchester, down by nine points with 2.12 remaining, are they going to start shooting a three ball? They haven't shot a lot of triples tonight. They're going to try to go get the quick two and just play it possession for possession. We'll see how they play it. Touch foul shots for Elliott. He's got his average, 25. There's Nick Halleck. Two minutes and change away from his second Open Division title. Sutton. The penetration. And the basket. Well, Zion with a very pretty move. The clock and ally of the visiting Patriots. Elliott against McLean. And again he draws the foul. He has sensational handles and he's very strong with the ball. Wainwright was frustrated. This was actually pretty good defense by McLean. This was letting that physical play on that perimeter go until the shot went up. That's what you would expect, though, from your leading scorer. He's going to be aggressive here in the latter stages. Looking to finish it off in style, David Elliott, a real sharp shooter. Larry Elliott's had a great career. Again, he's going to Loyola Marymount. He had 42 against Campbell Hall, 47 against Grant this year. Westchester has to go quickly. Sutton from the foul line. Angel Corona gives him a second opportunity. Stewart for three. That's a big hit for John Stewart, and suddenly Westchester is within six. And that's the first three-pointer of the night for the Comets, and I just made that point a moment ago. They need to start shooting the three balls to get back in the game, and that was a big-time triple. James Nobles, who had that mojo dunk, and David Elliott, they've both been great tonight for a Halix crew. Our wing stop player of the game. I think we should go with number four, David Elliott. Why not? He's been the man. He shot him into a lead early, and he has been terrific. Six points tonight, Randy, and he's got 12 of those coming in the second half after 14 of the first half. Array of shots from Elliott. Very difficult to defend. He's been outscoring all over the floor tonight. Let's add a three-pointer to his scoring totals with that triple, and then taking Zion Sutton off the dribble been doing it all over the place tonight, also getting out in transition for this rim-rocking slam. He's been terrific tonight. He's been great, but his buddy is going to Loyola Marymount as well. James Noble certainly in the hunt. Played terrific. There he is. The two chatting it over. A minute and 25 away from winning the city title. And let's not forget the contributions of Chris Cook, who's got 13 points tonight as well for Birmingham. I love it when your big three offensively carry the load, and that's been the case at this point for the Patriots. Still a six-point game. Birmingham isn't in here yet. DJ Wainwright trying to get a takeaway from Jaquan Parchment. Wainwright ball hawking. I have a call. I believe it's a timeout. Got that call. There were some problems there. Almost turned it over. Well, it was very close to a 10-second violation. That's why Birmingham called the timeout to save the turnover. Well, T.J. Wainwright has been terrific. We'll see if it's going to be enough to give his club a victory. He's got 25, and he always works hard, doesn't he, Jeff? A yeah, good majority of his points coming from within 15 feet. Dribble penetration going around a pick and roll and knocking down the jumper from the free throw line. Also out in transition using his left hand on the right side of the rim that's a difficult shot using both sides of the backboard tonight and he has single-handedly kept westchester in this ball game and again he's fearless and intense and you love that focus he had to know going into this game that westchester is not the most offensive team that he's going to have to carry the scoring load and he certainly has done his part 
now he needs some of the other Comets to step up here in the latter stages. And Randy, I think this is the part, part of the game where this may turn into a free throw shooting contest. Both teams over the limit foul-wise. Nine fouls on Birmingham and 17 fouls on Westchester. So if the foul game starts, this game will be won at the 15-foot line. Nobles brings it into Elliott. That's no surprise. McLean took it from him and scores. Suddenly, it's a four-point game. Still over a minute to play. McLean trying to take it away from Elliott again. Nobles working against Sutton. You've seen that great defense displayed by Westchester. 15 on the shot clock. Elliott going to work. 18 footer. Rebound put back up and in. It was Parchment with the follow shot. That was huge for Birmingham. Well, one of our keys tonight, rebounding. And one of the biggest plays of the game, an offensive rebound after terrific perimeter defense on David Elliott. Comet's inability to grab the board is going to be one of the crucial parts of this game. There's the charity roll after the offensive rebound, and that was a huge play. Well, we mentioned Elliott, but James Noble certainly could have been our wingstop player of the game. He's the co-conspirator. He has been brilliant on deep shots, and he just makes plays for Birmingham. Three three-pointers to his credit tonight. The Loyola Marymount commit has been an excellent one-two punch to go along with David Elliott. And the perimeter game tonight for the Patriots, I think, has been the key to this potential victory. And he also has the ability to knock down that 13-footer. And he's also doing it on the defensive end of the floor with the steal and the thunderous slam at the other end of the floor. He has been terrific tonight for the Patriots. Again, Birmingham as a school currently has the football championship, the baseball title. That could end next week. They're in the semis against San Pedro. Soccer, wrestling, and cheering. Trying to add basketball. That is some great athletic program in Lake Balboa. But the Comets want to change things here in basketball, and Wainwright draws the foul. Not five on Ola Inka. Now, who else would you expect to take this shot? T.J. Wainwright. That's a difficult shot. You're a left-hander. You're going to the right side of the rim. Well, I think his goal in that situation was to foul Ola Ink out, and he certainly accomplished that. Justice Harper will replace him, but again, Harper's a very solid performer. Double bonus. So second one is coming for Wainwright. Westchester still has a chance in this Open Division Championship game. The city title at stake. 69-65. Coaches now using their timeouts and strategizing. I'm Randy Rosenblum, working with Jeff Tolcher tonight. We're at Westchester High School. Open Division Championship game. T.J. Wainwright and company for the Comets. Well, Birmingham led this game 17 to 11 at the end of the first quarter. It was 38 to 26 at the half and then through three quarters, 57 43. So it's been a consistent lead tonight. But one of the players that's played well for Westchester is Darius McLean coming off the bench with a steal and a bucket. He's been terrific given the needed lift for Westchester who has struggled offensively till late in the game. But with 27 seconds left, this is where the foul game comes in. I'm the Comets. I start hacking the Patriots, put them at the line, save some of that time, and force them to win this one from that 15-foot line. Comets have momentum. Birmingham has time on their side. But can they hold off the surging Comets of Westchester? 15 city titles for Westchester in their history, all by Ed Azam. He started here in the 79-80 year. Had one year early in his career where he was 0-10 in the league. Those days are long over with. That's when they were in the Coliseum League when Crenshaw was so great, Dorsey, Fremont, those schools. Elliott is fouled in the backcourt. Quick foul with 25 seconds left committed by McLean. That's important. 
to note that this is a one and one situation. They're not in the double bonus yet. The 18 foul against Westchester, so you can continue to play that foul game and force him to make the front end of the one and one. That is Zam. Is this the end of the line? What a career he has had. Again, we don't know. The door's always open. Red makes a decision after each season. And a big make there for Elliott. The lead is five. He has 28 points tonight. 71-65. Wainwright. They're searching a three. Now down low to Wainwright, underneath, and he lays it in. TJ Wainwright. TJ Wainwright with 29 points, such a great competitor. He certainly is, and you love the intensity. He was focused even before the game when we were watching him warm up, and certainly no quit. On that previous possession, Westchester was looking for a three, and it was good perimeter defense by Birmingham. And that forced Wainwright to take the ball in the basket, get the quick two, and burn the timeout. Jeff, thank you for your work all season long. It's been a joy to work with you. Look forward to doing it in a few months. You know the best part about this season? All 20 games, almost every one of them like this, close. It's been a terrific season of covering high school basketball throughout the Southland. And I'm grateful to work with you and our executive producer, David Ott. Yeah, I want to thank also uh, Tom Simmons of the CF Southern section for his assistance with uh, their games. Obviously, Dick Dornan and Vicky Lagos of the city section. Rob Weigott, also the commissioner at the Southern Section Office. Uh, both offices have been very good to work with, and uh, they've really assisted us as we've prepared for these games. But now it's down to the final seconds. And Westchester trying to battle back, led by T.J. Wainwright. Well, you have to foul right away. You don't have much time left. And, of course, if you're Birmingham, you're trying to free up David Elliott to put the ball in his hands. You go for a steal. You don't get the steal. You commit the foul. And they didn't get the steal, so there's the foul on Elliott who covers the ball up, and he's got to be feeling real good about things. 19 foul, so it'll still be a one and one But Elliott knows his team is in great shape up four, and he's going to the charity strike. He has knocked down five free throws from the line in the fourth quarter alone. So those 28 points, some of those coming from that charity strike. Sticks that one, he'll be in search of number 30. And I mentioned those free throws, he's made six out of his last seven from the line. He has been clutch in the fourth. 73 to 67, Elliott has 30. Here's Wainwright back the other way. Shooting the three, rebound. Taken back by Westchester. McLean out of the corner is fouled by Nobles. He'll shoot three, but there's only one second left. And Nick Halleck is yelling out to his very solid player, Nobles, saying, it's okay. We know that's a cardinal sin, but hey, we're up six, and so there's only a second to play. He said, hey, it's okay. Well, there, there is no six-point play in basketball. I think that's why he's so confident. Birmingham obviously going to win this one, and it's been a terrific performance. They led throughout the entire game, took the early lead, and they never took their foot off the gas. Well, we saw Birmingham against Rebay Academy. They, in many respects, should have won that game, lost by one at home. But tonight, at Westchester, coming in as the number two seed, they're going to knock off previously undefeated Westchester. 73 to 68 is your final celebration time for Birmingham and Nick Halleck. Westchester with the comments really were playing hard in the second half. You can see that Ed Zam influenced defensively, pushing Birmingham, but the Patriots had enough weapons to hold them off. And there's Ed Zam congratulating his players and just wonder, is this it for Ed? If it is, we were better for having him as a coach in Southern California. He's produced a lot of great players, 
A lot of great moments and a lot of great championships. And he is truly a legend. Very emotional, too. You can look at the comments. Very difficult to lose a championship game, especially since Westchester was 11-0, undefeated going into this game. But it's just too much. David Elliott, 30 points. He was terrific tonight, leading Birmingham to the championship. Well, the Patriots, again, thank you, Jeff Tolcher. It's been a great year on KDOC. Climax by this championship game, won by Birmingham. Westchester, a mighty performance in the second half, led by T.J. Wainwright, but not enough. The champions reside in Lake Balboa, California. Birmingham reigns supreme in the L.A. City section, open division. Elliott gets 30. Nobles had a big game, but number four was precious when it counted most. Birmingham is the champions in the open division of the L.A. City section. For everybody on our David Audit crew, for Jeff Tolcher, I'm Randy Rosamund saying so long from Westchester. Nobles with the slam dunk. Birmingham with a championship. Good night. We'll see you later in the year on KDOC.